Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Is anybody hungry? Let's talk about cookies. Imagine you asked a group of people what flavor of cookie was their favorite. Well, here are the answers. Nine people like chocolate chip cookies. Six people like oatmeal cookies. Seven people like sugar cookies. Six people like peanut butter cookies. And eight people like gingerbread cookies. Your first task now is to figure out how many people like chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies. Here comes the interesting part. Do it mentally. I'll help you, of course. Try to think what would be the best tool to use in this situation. You don't want to spend too much time working on this problem, do you? If a tin frame has come to your mind as an idea, great, that's it. A tin frame can be used in your head without writing anything down. Check the answers again. There are nine people who like chocolate chip cookies and six people who like oatmeal cookies. So you need to add nine plus six. You are going to use your tin frame to make this efficient. With nine chocolate chip cookies, you know you have nine ones. You also know that nine is one less than ten. So you can make a group of ten. But where will this last one come from to make the ten? The oatmeal cookies, of course. You can take one from the oatmeal cookies to make it a ten. You have six oatmeal cookies, so if you take one away, then you will have five more because one plus five is six. Now you can make a ten because nine plus one is ten. Don't worry, you didn't change the number of chocolate chip cookies. You just took one of the oatmeal cookies to make it a ten. So far you have ten ones. Next step, what do you do with the rest of the oatmeal cookies? You could put them in a tin frame. Now you have five ones. You can combine the one tin and five ones to say that 10 plus five is 15. So yes, nine plus six is just like 10 plus five. In both cases, you have the sum of 15. You can prove this by using a number line, starting at nine and adding six more. Here's 15, the answer you've just had. Let's try out a few more problems. Your next task is to calculate how many people like sugar cookies and peanut butter cookies the best. Check the answers. Seven people like sugar cookies and six people like peanut butter cookies. So you need to add seven plus six and you will use your 10 frame as the fastest way to do the calculation mentally. With seven sugar cookies, you have seven ones. You also know that to make a 10, you're going to need three more ones. With these three ones, you can say seven plus three is 10. Here's the group of 10. But where will these three ones come from to make the 10? That's right, the peanut butter cookies. You can take three from the peanut butter cookies to make a 10. You have six peanut butter cookies, so if you take three, then you know you have three more because three plus three is six. Now you can make a 10 because seven plus three is 10. Of course, you didn't change the number of peanut butter cookies, but just took three of them to make a 10. Since you have 10 ones, the value of this is 10 because 10 ones will make one 10. What about the rest of the peanut butter cookies? Sure, you guessed it. You can put them in a 10 frame. What you have now is three ones. Let's combine the 110 and three ones to say that 10 plus three is 13. So yes, seven plus six is just like 10 plus three. In both cases, they have a sum of 13. Check it out on the number line again. Start with seven and add six more. This is exactly what I mean. The last task, think of the steps we followed and try to do it on your own. You need to find out how many people like gingerbread cookies and sugar cookies. Back to the answers. Eight people like gingerbread cookies and seven people like sugar cookies as their favorites. So far, so good. Adding eight plus seven, right? You're off to a great start. How would you now find the total? A 10 frame, of course. That's always the first step. Put eight ones in your 10 frame now. Step two, to figure out how to make 10 you would need to take two sugar cookies to fill the 10 frame. Eight plus two is 10. Here's the first frame of 10 ones. 
Next, 2 plus 5 is 7. So you have just 5 remaining oatmeal cookies to add to a second frame. And the last step, you can add the 110 and 5 ones and get 10 plus 5 equals 15. Great work! You now know how to mentally add numbers within 20 using 10 frames. That's a very useful tool in helping you add numbers within 20 using your mind only. See you in the next video lesson.